From the landing, the harvested wood is trucked to a mill to be sawn into lumber. In some cases, hardwood and softwood pulpwood, lesser quality wood used to make chips or paper, is ground on site into wood chips and trucked directly from the forest to the recipient. As logs are trucked into the Hull Forest Products mill yard, they are unloaded and grouped by species. The log scaler staples a bar-coated tag to each log and enters the species, grade, and volume into the inventory with the aid of a handheld computer. Before logs enter the mill, the ends are washed to remove any dirt that might dull the saws. Next, the bark is peeled from the logs with a ring debarker. The bark is immediately ground beneath the debarker and conveyed to the bark pile, where it will compost for the season before being reground, aerated again, and sold as wholesale and retail landscape mulch. After debarking, the logs proceed through a metal detector. Any logs that contain metal are kicked out of the mill so they do not damage the saws. Large or high quality logs are processed on the BAN head rig saw. This machine has computer scanning and a thin curve for optimum yields. Smaller or low grade logs are processed on the circle mill. The circle mill produces mostly railroad ties and very few boards. There is zero wood waste from the mill. Any sawdust or wood scrap is screened or chipped into byproducts for animal bedding, playground surfacing, or wood fuel. Wood chips, created as a byproduct of the lumber manufacturing process, are burned to produce steam to heat the mill's buildings and operate its dry kilns. Hull Forest Products is also a leading wholesaler of wood chips to meet the heating and energy needs of colleges, schools, and businesses that utilize biomass. The company's wood chip production replaces the use of over 200,000 barrels of oil each year with sustainably harvested, locally produced renewable biomass energy. The flow of lumber and squares from both head rigs is directed to a number of different machine centers. The resaw takes square cants from the mills and saws them into boards and smaller pallet cants used to make wood pallets. The edger removes the round edges from boards and the trimmer makes one or two board solutions based on grade and length. When the milling is complete, the boards find their way to the green chain where inspectors assign a final grade. The lumber is then sorted by grade, thickness, length, and sometimes width. Packs with stickers between layers are bound for the dry kilns. Packs without stickers are sold as green or undried. Stickered packs from the mill are end waxed to prevent rapid moisture loss from the ends of the boards, then sent to the air yard where they will temporarily air dry. When an empty kiln becomes available, it will be loaded with a single thickness and species of wood as drying schedules vary based on product. All the kilns are outfitted with the latest in computer controls and variable frequency drives. When a kiln is unloaded, the lumber is de-stickered on the double end trim. Here, any degrade, such as end splits, are trimmed off and the lumber is again regraded and repacked. Heavy-duty steel export strapping is used on these bundles before storing them in the warehouse. As a primary producer, Hull Forest Products is able to tailor its production to fit the individual needs of clients. HFP supplies a variety of FSC and non-FSC wood products, including green and kiln-dried lumber, pallet stock, railroad ties, flooring, paneling, wood siding, and wood fuel for heating. Markets for the 10 million board feet produced annually by HFP are 60% domestic, 40% export, with much of the lumber sold to manufacturers in the US, Canada, Europe, Russia, and Southeast Asia. All of the timber sawn by HFP is grown in the Northeastern United States a forestry region renowned worldwide for wood with tight grain and beautiful color.